What's that saying? You're never too old to learn something new. Well, I've been reflecting on that quite a bit lately. And I was thinking about our innate way that we learn. For example, when we're little children, we crawl, we roll, we do all those things innately. We might be encouraged, we might have a little chair squad that's saying, come on, roll over, get up, all those sorts of things. But these are innate in us. You know, we pull ourselves up holding onto a chair, onto a couch. We fall back down, we get back up, we fall back down, we get back up. And then what happens? We become adults. And we forget that we have an innate ability to learn new skills, new tasks, to open our minds up to possibilities. And imagine if you just started to tap into that innate knowing that we could do anything. That's what it is. It's a knowing. It's a deep knowing. And then, of course, it takes to me takes me to, well, how do you learn new things all the time? Or, you know, like we talk about vertical learning curves. I've had a few of them. I'm sure you have in your life. But I believe it's the art of repetition, just doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it. And the more I reflect on my life, the more I realise that that's how I've learned things, that's how I've discovered new things, that's how I have become involved in new opportunities that in most of the time have required a lot more than me, of me, that I've had actually available to me in that moment. And I just start doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it. There is an art to it. You just have to keep repeating the thing, the thing, the thing, whatever it is. It could be learning new technical skills. It could be doing ceramics. It could be anything you like, really. It could be learning things, learning personal development, because you have to keep doing the repetition to teach your body how to do it because your tissue and muscle memories are there if, in fact, uh, they were laid down early in life, I might say. But repetition is powerful. And what I've noticed is that people give up really easily. Have you noticed that? Have you given up easily? No, there is times in my life, yes, I wanted to lie down and say, forget it. I wish someone else would just come and take this from me. But they never do. <laughs> and now I'm laughing at it because... If it is to be, it's up to me. I know that said a lot, but it's so true, isn't it? If I'm going to do something about it, if I want to change something, there's no one, no one there, there's not someone waiting to save me. I might want to be saved on the odd occasion, but, you know, the bottom line is if I can just find the first step, repeat, 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 I'll get quite good at it. Then I'll teach my body, ah, this is a good action. I remember when I ran my first marathon, my body didn't know, and I'm not a runner, trust me, my body didn't understand what was required. But I did the training, the training, repetition, repetition. I taught my body, hey, body, you can do a marathon. And it's only now I'm really thinking about the depth of this, reflecting on what our capabilities are. What is it we use? 10% of our brain? Hmm. I'm probably guilty of that. So I'm getting into the art of repetition. I'm learning new things, new skills, new ways of being. What about you? What are your thoughts on this? Most of you that are subscribed here have been students of personal development as I have for some years. So I want to hear from you in the comments. Do you believe with the art of repetition that you can learn anything, do anything? Let me know. This is Mary Scott, the art of repetition. Start thinking about it, reflecting on it. Is it something that you would like to do? Let me know.